The gloomy skies over Franklin High School Wednesday morning certainly matched the mood. Students and staff alike in disbelief over a student dying from a suspected fentanyl overdose. She's got a whole life ahead of her. And now her family is going to be looking at dealing with funerals and celebration of life. Michelle Stroh knows all too well what the teen's family is going through. She lost her own son to a fentanyl overdose back in 2020. I still look for my son. It's, it's going to be three years. I still will stop and go, oh, I got, can't text him. I can't call him. I can't share with him. All because of fentanyl, a very strong opioid oftentimes produced illegally in Mexico and trafficked into the U.S. in pill or powder form. Just last week, Oregon Congresswoman Lori chavez Dreamer visited the border and addressed the fentanyl epidemic. Fentanyl is attacking the streets of Oregon. We had our largest drug bust in Oregon's history in my district this past year. And one year prior to that, fentanyl was to blame in more than 60 fatal overdoses in people under the age of 24 in Oregon. Fentanyl also killed two McDaniel High School students just last year. Now, a Franklin High School freshman. Michelle Stroh is begging parents to talk to their children. Really have that one-on-one -on -one talk as a parent and say, I love you, my child. I don't want to find you dead. This is very real. And it's happening all over in Oregon. Yeah, it really is. In fact, on Thursday night, McDaniel High School is hosting a substance abuse awareness program. It was on the calendar before the Franklin High student passed away. It's just more relevant now. We're told all Portland Public School students and families are welcome to attend. Brittany. All right, Mike, thank you.